Alright. I just hit record. Go team. Alright, so. This clothes line. Where do we begin with it? First thing is Bounty Box UV. R channel. Sine wave. Uh, we're going to chuck this into the base color first. Actually, no, this should be a cosine. Or should it be an inverted sine? And that should have a period of two. Because we want it to go... Oh, no, this is right. Yeah. So that's our mask for the droop. Then we can multiply this by the droop amount. And that's going to go into the break... Uh, sorry, not break. Make float three. We're gonna sp we we're speed running this, right? Shader speed run any percent. All right, so now we can make this droop. Right, very cool. And these all maintain their shape, which is good. Uh, then what we need to do is. We need to do a rotate. So, get a rotate about axis. Rotate about axis. The pivot point is going to be the pivot point, funnily enough. Pivot point. Object pivot point. Pivot point, blah, blah, blah. The position is going to be the position post this. So... That would mean we need to... Oh yeah, no, yeah. So we just get world position. And then we add this to it. So what's our axis here? Is that going to be the, the red axis? Although is that... Um, normalize rotation axis. That's probably in local, isn't it? Yep. Yes. Cool. And that's because we've done... We added this into the position of the thing with the stuff. Uh, if I hadn't done that, if I just put position in there, then we would get this. Yeah, that's what I thought. So this parameter, the rotation angle, is going to be a time. Um, we then need to chuck that into a sign swing speed uh, let's do like 0 0.1 then we're gonna do a sine wave that's fine then this will go to so we've got negative one to one. Oh, actually no that's easy we just fucking multiply this by the swing um, what do you call it like the swing length the swing arc the the swing angle swing max angle there we go then that's going to drive the rotation angle over here. Very cool. So, now this should just... Oh, yeah. Oh, no, wait. There we go. Now that's terrifying. Playing a demo for a game called Enchain. Can't wait for it to come out. I haven't heard of it. What, uh, what genre of game is it? I haven't played any video game or any new video games in a hot minute. I just play the same games over and over. <laughs> so here's what we're going to do. We tell this... Oh, wait, no, we want to do it this way. Okay, now we're talking. So now we've offset it by the, the vertex color. So now they look like they're actually like dragging in the wind as it blows, you know? Pretty dope. Uh, Oswald, affected by wind direction also. Yes, it will be affected by wind direction at some point. <laughs> um, 
we will figure that out as we go along. Uh, something else I might do is use the bounding box based UV and the sign as a, a factor that goes into the time distortion. So then we can do like this. I mean, obviously this is like it to the extreme, but we'd want it, you know, to kind of, we can make it look like the rope itself is, you know, has a bit of give to it. So that the middle part drags behind the rest of it, which is good. Now, another thing that I should probably add is, um, so th this is where it's going to get difficult because I have to actually factor in the rotation of this now. We need a dot product between the local rotation of the object and the world origin or, our, or you know, in someone else's case, the wind direction. Uh, and then we want to kind of force this to like always stay to one side a little bit when it's windy because like you can imagine if it was like super windy this probably wouldn't like go up and back on this side if it was very windy explain the tech behind this beautiful flowy cloth please well jad um i'm currently recording this so i will edit it down into a video uh and it'll go on the youtube we, we just started this like 10, 15 minutes ago, I think. So, we have this dot product. Now we could do a couple of things with this. Um, first thing we wanna do is negate. Oh, actually it depends on that. Let's go, um, uh, shit, what's this gonna be? Swing, angle, add in wind direction swing angle add in wind direction and we're going to add that here so what this will do is add after the sign yeah to the to the wind thing so so this bit here, if we said add, like, fucking, I don't know, 2, 0.2, sorry. Oh, so, you, so it needs to be negative 0. Let's go 0. 0.3, right? So yeah, now as it uh, goes here, it's like, okay, well, it's fine. And then as it goes in the direction of the wind, it, like, arcs up a ton. Which is cool. Good shit. So then, you know, if like this one is going across some buildings or some shit and this one's like, like this, then they, they look like they're kind of doing their real thing. Okay, so this is it regular. And then when it's super windy, like when it's at maximum wind, we w and it's facing against the wind, we want it to go to about here, so we're going to add two, like this. Yeah, that makes sense. Don't over-engineer it, my friend. Don't fall into that trap. <laughs> oh, Chad, it's like you've never been to the stream before. That's what we're all about. Yeah, okay, so now we can see, like, this still looks dumb, because we haven't put a, a minimum value on it, but you can see... If it is, let's bring this out here. Uh, and the wind, we, we are the wind, right? So as we turn this around, then it starts to really arc up and, you know, do its shit. And then as we go here, it's like just blowing the actual bits. And then, you know, we do this and it's like, ooh. God, it actually looks like it's fucking... <laughs> It actually looks like it's, like, physically blowing in the wind. Like it's a, a cloth sim or something. Which is real funny, because it's just... 
It's literally just this. It's just a bit of math. Don't do math, kids. Now that's one thing that I <laughs> need to uh, sort out. Is that they're all fucking swinging at the same time? <laughs> like, uh, uh. so what we can do is just like a pseudo random, um, a pseudo random fucking offset for the time. So we could literally just get a pivot point and add the X and Y together. Add X and Y, uh, and then just add that to time, and that's that's it. It's just a super simple way to make sure that they're all going at different times, rather than doing something like logic based, where they have to be like a blueprint or some shit. Nice. That looks pretty cool. Hmm. My cat. My cat. How are you doing? Cuddle. Give me cuddle. Hmm? Hmm. You're a good girl. Uh, so, what else does this need? I mean, nothing really. It's fucking perfect. I'm not gonna lie. I don't think there's anything. Actually, let's see what it's like at lower wind values. So, this is like hurricane strength winds. This is the maximum that we allow the wind to go in the game. Um, so if we put this down to like something more reasonable, like one. Prismatica. Coming to a EB Games near you.